For this is the home of the Navajo, the largest Indian reservation in America. Here the people live almost precisely as their ancestors did 100 years ago. The Navajo Indian was once the fiercest raider of them all. But with their defeat at the hands of Kit Carson in 1862, they turned to peaceful pursuits. Being a highly adaptable people, they borrowed the idea of weaving from their neighbors, the Pueblo Indians, and improved upon it by using wool instead of the then hard to get cotton. Just as it was a century ago, the staff of life of the Navajo is still corn, still being ground into meal by the same process that has been used for generations. Nor has the Navajo accepted the advances of modern medicine. Here under the watchful eye of Pat's Holiday, the head medicine man of the tribe, a sand painting is being completed. The Navajo still puts his faith in the healing powers of these mystic symbols. Into this land that time forgot, John Ford brought men and equipment to film the searchers, to capture the color, tradition, and echoes of the past. The danger and excitement of the days when the fierce Comanche Indians cut a bloody trail through the West. The now peaceful Navajo have a warlike history of their own, and even today are considered the finest horsemen in the world. So all it took was a little war paint to convert them into hard-riding, bloodthirsty Comanches. And here comes one of the prettiest little Comanches of them all, Miss Natalie Wood. Hello, Gig. Welcome to the reservation. Well, thank you. It's nice being here. And congratulations, Natalie, on your recent Academy Award nomination for Rebel Without a Cause. Well, thank you very much. You're very versatile. We've just enjoyed your performance as Maiden Mary, and now here you are as a Comanche. But despite the costume, you don't uh, really play an Indian in the picture, do you? No, that's right. I play a white girl who was captured and brought up by a fierce Comanche tribe. Oh, I see. And how do you get along with the Indians? Well, in the picture, fine. But here on location, I think I sort of amaze them. You see, the Navajo keep covered from head to foot, and they regard my sunbathing in a swimsuit as rather immodest. <laughs> they become over-civilized. 